current college student athletes and coaches grew up differently than the young athletes of today. When I was younger, I always played soccer, basketball, and baseball. Football, you know, and uh, running track. Baseball slash softball, basketball, and soccer. Dance and gymnastics. Mainly baseball and basketball. It was a long time ago, so I was your old tomboy. You know, you played soccer, you played baseball, you played football, believe it or not, basketball, pretty much everything. Like most people of, of my generation, the first thing you do is you pick up a baseball. But it, where I grew up, you know, was football in the fall, basketball in the winter, and baseball in the spring. According to a sports specialization study from UCLA released by the American Medical Society for Sports Medicine, out of 296 NCAA Division I athletes, 88% participated in at least two to three sports growing up. 70% did not specialize until after the age of 12. Tennis has always been a sport where you played it at a young age and concentrated on tennis probably since you've been maybe 10 years old. But I think now the other sports are sort of doing the same thing that tennis has done for quite a while. And um, I'm, I'm not necessarily a big advocate of it. Participation in sports is slowly decreasing every year. And playing multiple sports may not be feasible anymore because of the growth of year-round sports. It's becoming rare. I think that kids are much better off if they can. Um, and they want to, to play two to three sports. I just think they're just more well-rounded. I think they have a more diverse skill set. The study also found that single sport athletes do not have a better chance to make it to elite levels. Specializing could also lead to overuse injuries and burnout. I think sometimes when you see some of the student athletes that come in that they've been doing the same sports since they're, they're knee high, they're a little burned out. You know, they, you can only motivate them so much. I think sometimes it's ingrained that, oh, you got to play six, eight hours a day at tennis or four hours or whatever it is, which is actually pretty crazy, to be honest with you. Yeah, they're doing too much. Absolutely. The student athletes see the potential value of specializing, but find playing multiple sports was more beneficial for them. For kids growing up only playing one sport, um, I think that's really great because you can kind of specialize in that sport, but I think it's great for kids to have the opportunity to play so many different sports because then I think you kind of get to really choose what you like. There's so many different like things that you can learn. You just learn to be disciplined in, in every aspect of like your athletic ability and I think playing every sport just really helps you be better at that one sport you may focus on later on. While there are many reasons the single sport trend may be occurring, a common thought is the pressure kids receive from parents, coaches, and even themselves to focus on getting a college scholarship. As a coach, it's usually the coach that's saying, no, oh, you know, they need to choose. We have a, another player that just signed with us who's got a cousin in San Diego and he's a super stud in baseball and basketball and the coaches at his school are trying to get him, hey, decide. He's in high school. You know, they're different seasons. You should be able to play both. In Tempe, I'm Katrina Secchi, Cronkite News.